Hello and welcome to another one. We are out again, but we're not in a normal location. I'm somewhere a little bit different today. I'm at Kragenen, Kragenen, Klin, or Klinu. What is it? Is it Klinu? That's close enough. To That's close enough, right. We're working on it, we're working on it. Yeah, we're out. Uh, just me and John today, we haven't got anyone else with us. Um, it's a little lake that's got a boathouse on it. It's not probably a popular location for uh, vlogging, that's for sure. I've not seen any vlogs really from here. Um, it's over near Barmouth, or Bournemouth. Barmouth, Bournemouth, Bournemouth, Barmouth. <laughs> I'm a southerner, I keep getting it mixed up. Um, but the plan is, we don't have a plan except for going up there. So the plan is to make our way up to the top of that, have a look and see what's going on, because it is quite a steep one, and then maybe make our way around the Clin. Uh, there's another one over the other side. So it's a little bit different. Just, uh, I was here last night, I took a couple of pictures, sort of handheld, just having a few snaps. I pulled up and just sort of had a look around to see what was around, and I got a couple facing down the estuary. So I'll pop a couple of them up just to give you a bit of a taster. And uh, yeah, there's some pinks on the hill, which is really nice. Uh, heather's coming out, which looks really cool. So we'll see if we can work with a little bit of that. Um, try and find a pathway, because it doesn't look like an obvious one. Or I can see a style, so that's a, that's a start. And uh, yeah, we'll just make this an adventure. Let's see where we end up. Let's see what we find. We've got the drone with us. We've got water and snacks. And let's just make the most of it. The pinks or purples in these heathers that are out are absolutely stunning. And it's not like a normal bog, you know, where it's masses of thick heather. It's just like scattered around. And it's absolutely beautiful. You might be able to see it over my shoulder, but it really is nice. I'll just flick you around so you can have a quick look. This is what we're walking through at the moment, or we're on the pathway in between. But just look at all these pinks. Absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. Pretty or pretty even with that uh, backdrop of the hills and the thick clouds. So yeah, we've got uh, quite a bit of scrambling to go. We've literally just started. So it'll be a case of seeing you somewhere at the top once I've stopped my heavy breathing and everything. Whew, here we go. So we've stopped. We've stopped midway up um, before it starts to get steep by the looks of it, because you can see behind me it starts to go uphill a bit. But the image in front of me, I, I quite favour. So I'm going to get the camera out. I'm going to show you what it is we're looking at. We've got this uh, rock down here, which I found as some sort of key to the bottom of the image, some foreground interest. And it's going to be roughly what I'm looking at now. I'm going to put the wide angle on. I've got all these beautiful purples here and pinks that are leading you through the image. So they're sort of pointing all that way down to the Tarn or the, the Hlin, as we're in Wales. And you've got this big, dramatic, moody sky clouds at the top. You can see the car park where we come from down in this bottom corner. But I might clone that out because it will be an obstruction. What I do like in it though, and like John just said, is that farm. And I like the farm because that gives that scale. So this is going to be our first image. I'm going to get the camera out now. I'm going to set it up. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for probably an F11, which gives you a nice depth of field. Uh, may not need to bracket it, but I might bracket it as a safety net just in case there's a few highlights in the sky that sort of catch, your, you know, catch me out. So I want to take all the information back with me. Um, so yeah, I'll set the camera up, get it on the tripod and uh, yeah, let's get a shot of this. So, camera's on. Uh, hopefully you can see me in the video. Um, I've got the camera out. I've put the wide angle lens on and I'm about 12 millimeters. Uh, like I say, I want to go to about F11. So, oh, I'm on auto because I had it on auto last time I had this lens out. Right, so we put it on F11, which is going to give me plenty of depth of field and I'm focusing just in the front of the rock down here. Uh, so that should give me everything pretty much in focus. And I'm not too worried if it goes out. I'm now going to flick it around to bracket in. My focus is set, my two second timer is back on because I had it handheld last night, like I said. So yeah, hit the shutter button and let the camera take the picture. I've got a nice flow of pinks running round. I've got the boulder down in the bottom corner. I'm gonna take two shots. I'm gonna take one where it was and I'm just gonna tilt it round slightly and get a little bit more of the estuary in and the path. And I'm not quite sure which one I prefer the best, but I'm gonna take the two of them just in case because um, now I've got the rock on the third and the lake on the third and then I've got a little bit of the estuary right down in the bottom corner uh, which is quite nice but yeah I might have to clone the car park out because it's not the best and prettiest of things um, F11 again focus again just going to check it my histogram is looking like it's quite high to the right so I'm just going to back it down half a stop that should maintain any of them highlights in there and there we go there's the next one Beautiful little shot, absolutely stunning colours. Glad I've got some pinks because I always miss them every year. And uh, yeah, first one done in the bag. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk around, 
as we go up the hill. I'm gonna get a shot every so often. I'm in no rush today, we've got all day, we're stopping here all day. We're just gonna take our time. John's gone up onto this bank, so I'm gonna go up there now and have a find out where he is. And uh, yeah, good, first one done. I'm just, one thing I'm gonna check, I'm just gonna check and see what it looks like in a vertical. So I've just taken it off and it looks pretty good. So just before I go, this is what I'm like. Just before I go, I'm just gonna take a vertical and I'm gonna put the lake or the hlin right in the top. And I don't have to move the tripod. I've still got the pinks in the bottom. I've got these lovely rocks in the bottom. Camera's nice and level. I'm gonna do a focus stack on this one though because the rocks are a lot closer than the background. So I'm gonna take the first image, two second timer, quarter of, quarter of a spot stop underexposed. And then I'm gonna take one midway through the image, roughly in the middle there. That's gonna give me a definite depth of field all the way through. That's it, job's done. Don't have to mess around, there's no messing around with that. Straight on the tripod, straight down, image taken, in the bag, ready to move. Let's go and get another shot. about 25 yards and I've just got onto this pinnacle bit um, uh, where John was set he's just he was just sat there just now I've got a picture of him sitting down on my phone he's just taking it all in bless him um, yeah the scene in front of us now is just amazing let's have a quick look at this this is really really nice look at what we've got here we've got beautiful rocks down here in the foreground pushing you through the image we've got a little set of pinks just on the bank just there we've got the little island which stands out like an island even though you can't see the water around it you've got the farmhouse over there i've cut off the uh, edge of the tarn just where the, the um, trees are there to get rid of the cars we've got this beautiful lake i keep calling it a tarn don't i but the hlin or the lake in front of us leading up to the little lake over that side which is where we're going to head to and you've got these nice moody low-lying clouds so it's a really really nice image i just one i couldn't walk away and uh, not take so i think today is going to be about stopping and taking a shot i think that's what we're going to make this video about stopping taking your time getting the shot going home with something to really remember the day with and we may be getting a few little light spells as well every so often because the light's starting to change in the sky there's a few pockets of clouds and i can see over the sea which is behind you i can actually see the sea look at this i can see the sea there it is there's our sea and we've got some pockets of light over in the background coming through so uh, yeah we're in favour for some getting some nice weather, some nice light and uh, yeah, something interesting I think. The only problem is we've got to get up there now and that looks like it's going to start to a bit of a scramble but we're game for it, even if it's just 10 foot at a time, we don't mind. So I put the camera away just now and we saw a patch of light appear and uh, the camera had to definitely come back out again and the light is now hitting the trees over there. So you heard me talk about this several times, uh, light painting or time blending. Um, basically that's what I'm going to do. So where the light's now over the back of the trees, it's making them trees light up. And it's just a patch of light that's just moving around the hillside. So I've got it in different locations, over the top of the barn and the farm, over the top of the boat house that's down on the, on the glen, as it moves across the hillside behind. So I've got it in different positions and now I can just paint that back in where I want it. Um, beautiful watching the light come through, absolutely stunning. Really, really is. So that's another shot made up of half a dozen different shots. And I'm definitely putting the camera away now because we've been here for ages and we're going up this spiky cliff. All right, so it looks like we've now I've got to do a bit of scrambling, so the stick's not a lot of use to me at the moment. So it's going to be hands and knees. So you just see me scrambling up the rocks there. 
we're not far from the top now but the view the view now is just amazing and it's nice because the tides quite a way out and it's showing all the the veins in the estuary and again i've showed you this on b-roll on that but if you just look at this here now you've got the light seems to be shining on all the sandy patches all the way along down there and i'm hoping you can hear me because the wind is blowing right in my face at the moment but you can see the bridge over barmouth there i can zoom in for you look at that you can see the bridge going over barmouth stunning place barmouth is really nice we've actually stopped in a cottage somewhere around here before now and one of my favorite houses of all time i just i think it's just around the corner around there but uh yeah what an absolute amazing view and again it's good sharing it with someone else as well john's up here with me keeping an eye on each other <laughs> he's got his hair put away now it's getting in his eyes bless him <laughs> but yeah what about that for a view so we've not got far to go just the last little bit and we're definitely gonna have to get a picture from the top and i'm hoping that we'll be able to see all the way up to doug effley and uh, i will put up on the screen how high this is it's only a little tiny hill but it's actually quite a high one when we look at what's around us we've actually elevated quite some some distance it might even tell me on my phone uh on my watch rather and i think i think we're here i think we're on it we are it's flattening off it's definitely flattening off it's looking pretty good so we'll walk straight across the top and have a look over this other side here and i'm going to show you the view looking back the other direction the words that come from our mouth is wow john and i look at that look at that that is stunning they've got the lakes down behind us this is for a short little location which is like i said the car park's there you can get to that lake easy and this isn't a long walk but the views are amazing we just had a look on my peak finder app and you've got uh Kadaridris just over there Kadaridris. but i don't know i think i think we're going to make our way along this i think and come down the other side and maybe along the bottom i reckon that'd be a good plan and, and take a good part of the day but look at that for a view <laughs> how amazing is that and that's on this side on the other side on the other side if i can get back around here i don't want to trample on the heather if i can get back around here the other side is just as well let's get over here and have a look at this oh come with me let's have a look through here this side is going to take you up the estuary and looking over the other direction there we go there we go look at that all the way down the barmouth estuary how fantastic is that there is actually a photograph i want from up on the viewpoint over that side which i will get one day i'll take you over there but it's not easy to park but absolutely amazing i can see another town just here look at this i'm gonna turn you around have a look at this look look at all this how amazing is this and there's another little i keep saying tarn and i it's not it's a clean little lake down there you can see it right down in the bottom there so we've got lots to be taking photographs of we've got purples and pinks we've got the estuary going out and we come around the other side if i spin you right around this side we've got all these mountains and hills rocks and look at john up there on the hill there he just looks like a little tiny dot fantastic maybe one of my longer videos breaker breaker <laughs> maybe one of my longer videos but i may have to cut this in half and make it a two-parter so what i may do is end it here for a moment and uh, start the photographs off in part two and hopefully you'll join me next week for the second half because this is a long one i've already done some photography coming up it's taken a while coming up oh look at these people let me just look at these people let me spin you around quick before they move look at these people on this hill just there just there can you see them right on that peak just there they look amazing <laughs> right so yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe and 
comment it really does help the algorithm and the thumbs up helps the algorithms uh, if i get more likes and i get more stuff like that the videos will be shown to more people and more people will get to enjoy the adventures as well but oh my god what an absolute stunning view you've got to come back in part two see you soon ciao for now